hello everyone welcome back to my channel as you know or if you don't know check out the last video we definitely mentioned me showing you how to make some of the food so you guys can make it and enjoy with me as we watch and talk right so today i'm going to show you how i made my fried chicken and my yellow rice all right so let's start off with the chicken this is the chicken it's already seasoned with sea salt right so i like to use the maldon if i'm saying it correctly sea salt flakes i first went in with that and then i used this meat poultry seasoning cajun seasoning cayenne pepper powdered garlic and i just added some black pepper this is finely grinded i'm gonna mix the last bit of it right to get the best crunchy um fried chicken you're going to crack some eggs yeah. I'm going to use a, I usually use a Camp Arthur all-purpose flour or any all-purpose flour that you like, but you know, over here we like to do organic or better quality items and food. Obviously that is not enough. So you're going to add three, like just a three quarter cup flour I don't like my chicken too battered because what I end up doing is I end up peeling off anyway <laughs> I might need more batter but for now more flour but now let's just let's just mix our eggs okay so you're gonna take your chicken, you go dip it in eggs, you're gonna dip it in flour, right? And when it's been more battered, you could go back in, dip it again, dip it again to give it that extra crunch. But like I said, I'm not too crazy about batter on my chicken, so. I'm going to do it just once. Okay, and I'm just going to transfer it into my bowl. This stainless steel um, mixing bowls I got from Costco, they are great. Like, really, really good. It comes with a cover, and that cover has a grater, so you could grate while it's in there. It's like so, so convenient, right? Uh, it was a good price. It was like 20 something dollars. Um, the bowl, the green bowl, this green bowl that I'm using to hold the chicken, I got from Anthropology on sale. Those who know me knows I love me some Anthro, been, been an Anthro fan and supporter and shopper, customer for many, many years. And I got that on sale for about, what, $40? The, it, it, it came with a handle, but it broke off like the first week because your girl's a little rough, okay? But that's fine. It broke off the first week, but it's okay. So we're not bad batter, but that's okay. I'm just gonna add more because the reason why I do it like this too, because sometimes when I initially go in with a lot of batter, I end up wasting it. And I hate wasting food. Like and I do it too often, right? So I end up wasting it and it kind of hurt my heart to waste food like that. So I'd rather just um add as I go. Um same thing with the eggs. I'd rather just add as I go. Um so Go in. Oh, by the way, too, when I when I season the chicken, I let it sit. You can let it sit overnight, or you can let it sit for some. I'll say a good four or five hours. Really get the seasoning in like the way you like it. Um, so when I woke up this morning, when I while I was getting the laundry stuff ready, um, or while my my the clothes was being laundered, let me get to slow part. Let's get the in between. While the clothes is being laundered, I um I seasoned it. So it's been a couple of hours since it's been seasoned. So it's not necessarily about it being overnight, it's about the amount of hours. So if you could have it overnight for six, seven hours, and you can have it seasoned the same day for six, seven hours, 
five, depending on how, you know, it's the same. Okay, so. So I even like this little chunking that it does. Once again, it adds to it, right? So, yeah, let's add some more batter. left so that should be enough now I gotta add some more chicken I mean some more eggs probably just one more uh, yeah so oh and also I got um the cutting board love this cutting board I got this cutting board right after we got married from anthropology once again <laughs> it was on sale for about uh, I think $40 and for a cutting board this size and with this thickness for $40 that was a steal okay um and originally it was like a hundred and something dollars and it came with like gold um it had like some gold uh metals in there which is really nice for de um decorations but it wasn't it wasn't practical because once you were cutting you start to cut your knife you so cut it right which would dull your knife um or mess up the ridge of your knife so i just want to take off this other extra flour that I have accumulated on my fingers <laughs> okay got one extra egg Hold on. let me beat it Some people also put this in a Ziploc bag and shake it up. That's another technique you can use too. Um, yeah, that's another technique. It works. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but like I said, I don't like wasting things. So the Ziploc bag wants to shake it up and kind of have to throw the bag out. So because I don't like wasting things, I'd rather just use something that's reusable and not go wash it out. <laughs> you know, don't have to toss it out. See, now we just have extra, extra, um, eggs so i'm gonna double dip again so it doesn't go to waste like i said <laughs> you don't like being wasting things whoever said breading your chicken with the egg is a wild person not the mother with the child is that's just crazy okay <laughs> that's just wild there's one more just, just to finish off this egg like I said, so nothing go to waste. All right. It kind of give me, it kind of gives like a little breadcrumb look and feel. Okay. So that is, I know I should have been doing while I was doing this. Heating up my oil, but I want to show you which oil I'm using. Let's get this little corner. All right. Let's get this out the way. All right, so clean up my area as I go. Because trust and believe. Not cleaning up, just going to increase the amount of stuff you have on your counter and it makes it very, very difficult, annoying when you're trying to cook. You feel like you, don't, you can't even move around or get around because everywhere you turn, there's something there. It's, nobody has time for that. So, we're going to use one of my favorite pots. This is my Le Creuset uh, Dutch oven. Okay, this is an agave color. It is so beautiful with the beautiful brushed um, gold knob. This is a five and a half quart, right? Five and a half quart is like the, if you have a family of three or more, this is the perfect size. It's literally the perfect size because you could do a lot in here, okay? So we are going to now put in our oil. We are using chosen avocado oil. Oil, guys, avocado oil is better for you than canola and vegetable oil. 
um this is already cleaned and wiped obviously um canola and vegetable oil because those oil are um inflammatory oils and avocado oil and olive oil anti-inflammatory um and it has a really high burning um temperature so it could go as high as as it say on here what is the highest is it 400 and something 500 smoke point I don't know if you can read it, but it has a 500 smoke point. So that means you, you, it's not going to burn your food. The reason why um, olive oil is not good for frying because one, it burns quicker and two, it changes the um, the chemical arrangements or how it's set up organically. It changes so you don't reap the benefits of the nutrients that come from olive oil once you heat it up. So olive oil is good to like drizzle. Um, and I use it, I still use it to cook some stuff, but you know. Sometimes it's better to just use the avocado oil. The only time I don't like use the avocado oil is when I do curry because it kind of changes um, alters the taste. But apart from that, it's tasteless in many other dishes. So let's heat this up. And I like to put my, I have a gas stove, so I like to put it at six to get it started. So when it gets real, real, real hot, that's when we're gonna throw our chicken in and that's going to cook. Um, in the meantime, let's prep our, uh, what you want to call it? Our yellow rice. Yellow rice is just, you need, you need jasmine rice. That's the best rice, hands down. If you use anything other than jasmine rice, I don't, I really don't understand. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why, why you use anything else. Jasmine rice is it? It is. So, let's get that started. All right. So the jasmine rice, I just put in a small mason jar to make it things easier. We are going to do two cups, just a small amount. Okay, two cups. Actually, let's finish it because only a little bit left. Um, so what? Two and a half. The measurements are important. Don't just guess. Two and a half cups guys ladies and gentlemen okay boys and girls kids and adults you have to wash your rice you do like you do point blank period you have to wash your rice let's go wash i'm gonna show you why you have to wash your rice this is why you have to wash your white rice you see all this whiteness this is starch they came off the rice um if you don't know, now you know. Starches, basically, one starch gets into your system. When it breaks down, it turns into glucose. Glucose is another form of sugar that's not good for our body, right? So it's bad enough that we are eating pasta, regular sugar from regular food, breads, which all of these things are starch that turns into glucose in our body, right? And then we eat rice that we love, but then we don't wash our rice. So on top of all of the starches you're getting, you have an extra starch that you didn't wash off. So you have to keep washing this off until it turns clear or close to clear as possible, okay, to get rid of some of that starch. And plus, a lot of these rice farms, people are stepping on it, they're pulling it. You don't, you don't know if it necessarily get washed, before, it necessarily gets washed before it gets to you, just know that it's in the back. So you have to wash your rice. So let's finish washing. Okay, this is the second wash. As you can see, it is getting clearer. So let's do a third one. This is the third. This is the fourth. So, way clearer. So it usually takes about four washes for you to, you know, get the, um, get most of the starch off, all right? So I'm gonna rinse this out and just put one more water and then we'll be ready. Now we got our wash done. So now our oil is dancing around, okay? It's loose, cause it's hot. And we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna do something real dangerous, so let's see. We're gonna test it out by seeing if it's ready to go by putting just a little bit of chicken in there and see how it reacts. It's gonna sizzle a little bit. Uh-huh. Let's see. Yep, it's ready to go. All right, so let's put it back on the stove. Dutch oven is honestly the best. Honestly, it's like the best, the best, the best, the best um tool to fry chicken because something about it's, it's something about the heat retention and you know hold on so this how it looks right it's gonna make such beautiful chicken 
So it's something about the heat retention that it has and just how it's able to just distribute that heat. It's just, it gives you the perfect chicken. If you do, can't do a Le Creuset, listen, this other Dutch oven, Dutch, um, Lodge have a Dutch oven, Martha Stewart have a Dutch oven, however, it's always chipping, but if you don't care for the looks, she has a Dutch oven. Um, so we're gonna let that go. I put the, the fire up to between six and seven, so I get seven and a half, and then we are going to finish our rice, right? So, we got our rice here. Let's get the pot that we're gonna make our rice in. We're going to use the Staub um, Dutch oven. So you will see my home, we use a lot of, um, I use Dutch oven. Like my cooking utensil, my cooking tools consist of Dutch ovens, um, stainless steel, and um, copper, right? Copper um, pots. I only have two copper pots, one saucepan and one frying pan. And for what I usually like to make my rice in is the all clad um, stainless steel um, pasta pot. But obviously you can use, it comes with a strainer, but you can use it for rice and everything else too. So guys, using the right tools and equipment, is, it, it really makes a difference. It really does. Yeah, imagine having a super light pot and that pot don't do you well because because it's thin it burns your food really quickly so having a heavy bottom pot is really important for certain things you have to be careful with the dutch oven making rice because it's so heavy and it distributes heat very quickly um uh, it will burn quicker so you have to lower your um your um uh, your fire so it doesn't burn it um preferably i like to cook my rice in my stainless steel pots but i don't feel like searching for it and you know it's metal so it's gonna make mad noise and we're not doing that so we're gonna use what's close by so we're using the stuff which i use for rice too and i use for making my bread so it's perfectly fine so since we did two and a half cups of the rice we are going to you're basically going to double it we are going to do um four and a half cups of water So it's four and a half cups. Um, another thing too, you have to understand that it depends on the rice that you're using. If you're using jasmine rice, so you're just basically doubling your rice, your your water to the rice. Okay. Um, if you're doing parboiled rice, if you're doing basmati rice, that's different. You um, that's a different uh, measurement. I don't do those often, so I don't know. Um, I would have to look it up if I'm making um something with basmati rice. But I'm not the greatest, the biggest fan of basmati, so I usually don't go for basmati. Um, so we got our rice, right? Now let's pour out. Now we're gonna add our seasoning, our salt, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do what they eat. First, let's crush up our. This is chicken bouillon. Okay, chicken bouillon or magi cube. I'm going to use a chicken because we're making fried chicken. Um, the. <laughs> Uh, it only makes sense, right? I'm not going to use the whole thing because that's a bit much. So I like to crush it in there because I like to keep the rest in the bag. So we are going to, actually let's crush it first. Okay, let's put that to the side. And we got saffron. So, back here. Let's add this to it. Okay, and once again, I like to build on. I don't like to just throw everything in. I have, I, you have to build on. You'd be having too many of everything. Then I'm put turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric gives it well I, outside of its health benefits. It also gives a color, right? Um, a little bit of cumin. Smoked paprika. That also helps with the color. And just, we're going to add a tad bit of saffron. I got saffron, is very expensive. Ooh, you don't need much. I just got, and it adds the color. Yeah. 
There's a couple of threads in here. I got this one from Costco a while ago. This was $20. Um, we are going to stir and taste it first before we move on to add anything else. Just stir, taste, and see. Oh, so you don't have to add the saffron to get the, the taste that you're looking um, to get this. It, it, that's just an extra thing, okay? If you don't have saffron, you're fine. Because saffron can be very, very expensive. I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt. Okay. Once again, we taste. Okay. Good. This is where I need it to be. Add a little bit of black pepper because it's important. <laughs> and I got this black pepper grinder from Chef Eric a Japan's collaboration with CB2. I really, really like it. Very sleek. Very, very nice. It's so sleek and so cute. And oh, and this um this stirred too. Equa Benkuta. Right? And I was so funny that I was just about to I was looking to get I started with this flat, with this, um, like, I like how flat it is. And I was looking on Amazon. So I'm so glad that CB2 sent me the catalog when they sent it to me. Okay, this is it. Right? So we got that. And now I'm going to add some, we're going to add butter. Okay? This is the butter I use. This is the ghee butter. Okay? This is the ghee butter. This is really good. This is really good. This is really good. It's better than um, it's better than your regular butter. Um, so it's a clarified butter. It's better. It's just better for your health. So we're gonna put a nice amount on in this. Actually, I did I only did two cups. I, I keep forgetting. I keep thinking I did it for. I'm doing it for the whole family the way I usually do, but. It's two cups. I put a little bit too much butter, but usually you just do one. If you're doing this amount, let's say you're serving just for yourself, one scoop is fine, okay? Um, last thing. Just a tad bit of garlic. Okay. One more time with the taste. Perfect. So any type of ghee you can find it. This is this big one is from Costco. You can also get it from Whole Foods or you know wherever your grocery store is. So let's put this over here. We're gonna pop this on the stove. And we are going to set it for I usually like to put my rice for five on five because once again it is the and then the, when it's getting a little cooked when it's been going for a good minute I'll come back and load two or three because once again you know it's a cast iron so it burns quick if you're not paying attention because you don't need much to, to heat up so that was my mistake when I first started using cast irons I was treating it the way I treat a stainless steel pots and a lot of my stuff burns. So if you look at my orange um, Le Creuset pot, this is called the flame. She tied it. But I clean it up with, um, a, that's, a, that's a type of, deter, um, not detergent, soap that you can use to clean her up. She's good now, but at the bottom she burnt, okay? Because it was a learning curve for me. <laughs> but the rest of my other pots are pretty good because I know, now I know how to use it. So now let's check on our chicken. I'm gonna bring it here once again, doing dangerous work. This is her. Okay. So she's a little, I know that's fine. Yeah, she's just a, this is the crisp that you're looking for. Okay, you see how beautiful this is? This, this is gorgeous. You know, and then being a mom, like, I wouldn't say a new mom, but new enough, right? My child is one and change, but sometimes you're you going to have to do multiple things at once because you got so many things to do, right? 
So like right now after this, I'm cooking dinner, dinner um for the rest of the, no, not the rest of the week, for the next couple of days. This is probably gonna be a, good for today and lunch tomorrow. But you know, see how all this was cooking. I was able to get the rice together. So you gotta utilize your time. You can't just cook one thing and wait for that one thing to get cooking before you start the other one. Cause baby, you gonna be in the kitchen all day. I'm gonna let that one keep going. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. I don't like to OD with the oil because it's oil at the end of the day. So I don't like to go too crazy, right? So that's that. So now let's just wait for it to cook. Okay? And then we'll check back in and see how everything is going. What I encourage you to do is, as you can see, the butter has melted. Just go back in and stir to kind of try to get it to coat every, every single grain of rice, right? You taste again to make sure it's still to your liking the back on the stove okay now to take out our beautiful chicken we're gonna put it on here look at that wow I get so happy what about me chicken fried chicken because it's just it comes out so perfect that's how I like it like Popeye's cool. To whom can challenge this? Honestly, it is partially skill and Dutch oven. I'm not even going to take all of the credit. All right, so let's put the rest in. You see, um, and like what I said about not wasting, I didn't OD with it because I don't want this to be deep fried. I don't want that. I, what do you call it? It's a name for this kind of frying. Where the, um, the meat is not swimming in the oil. It's just halfway in. I forget the name of it. But it's not deep fried. Because that's not what I want. That's too much oil. Guys. Y'all. Okay? Look at her. She is her. She is it. This looks so good. I cannot wait. Oh, you're going to hear the crunch? Oh, I can hear the crunch now. All right, so let's put this aside while the, other, the rest of it cook, okay? But the cast iron didn't even take that long. That was quick. Quick, 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 quick. There's no burnt size. I'll for that one burnt side, but whatever. There's no burnt size, but guys, you have to invest in one. It's just, it makes a difference, I promise you. All right, so let's check our rice. You can tell that she's well coated, right? Good. And now she's gone. I'm going to lower my fire down to a uh, four okay let's check on our chicken this is her with her now we have to be careful perfect example because now the the oil is not fresh and brand new it could burn get the dark burnt quick so you have to check on her a little bit more than the first batch to turn her around let's go back on the fire and ladies and gentlemen that is our chicken we are done with the chicken see it's not that much oil left over so i don't feel gu guilty for throwing out right so we're gonna put this back over here let that cool down and then we're gonna throw it up once it is done uh, our rice is almost done. Let's see. How is she looking? Almost done. Oh, look at all that steam. Okay. A little bit wet. So I just have a little bit more time, more ways to go. Let's give it like another seven, eight minutes. That's it. We are done.